I guess I'm slightly digressing here into how we condition athletes for their sport rather than how we rehabilitate patients from, yep. from injury. And actually, Sarah sent in a question saying, um, does all this mean that um, there isn't a place for hands-on therapy any longer? No, no, that's, uh, that's the problem. People uh, misunderstand it. This is rehabilitation. This is rehabilitation yeah. uh, of movement to functionality. Uh, hands-on is really important. I use it a lot in clinic. I, mm. uh, basically, I work every day with my hands on the patients. Mm. But I do a lot of active stuff with them. I, yes. uh, I might show that later we'll have uh, maybe a demonstration what it might look yes. like. Yeah. Um, and it just makes it a lot more interesting than just doing uh, passive techniques all the time. There's a lot yeah. of range and... Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's incorrect to think like that. Right. That's, it's, an, it's a question that often comes up. Um, yeah. But, uh, for example, even if we look at the repair process, the initial part would, be, would benefit a lot from movement even passive movement, mm -hmm. uh, techniques that are associated with pumping of tissues. Yes. So intermittent compression okay. and all that will be very useful. Does that contribute to, I think, what you call mechanotransduction in the so, uh, in book? Uh, so, in, uh, okay, so the mechanism that we try to activate in the initial part of the inflammation and regeneration are to do with pump systems, mm -hmm. and that's uh, the transsynovial pump, which is the pump system within the joints. Yes. And there's another pump, which people are not aware of, uh, and it's the interstitial pump. It's the, the, the interstitial space is like a sponge. It's mm -hmm. compressible. So you can actually pump it. So when we move, we pump both. We pump the interstitial uh, pump and the synovial pump. Mm -hmm. When you get to the third phase, um, remodeling. remodeling, mechanotransduction takes over. That's the important mechanism we're trying to activate. Okay. Uh, mechanical transduction is the body ability to convert mechanical signals into biological processes. Right. Yes. Okay. So yeah. all this all this modeling needs mechanical transduction. It's not so much about pumping and, mm. and the transynovial pump, unless there is swelling in the area still the case. But you really want to move it to stimulate mechanical transduction. So, so that's mechanical transduction is our friend. It's right. really really important, mm. and people don't talk about it enough. No. Um, just going back though, the synovial pump is activated just by activating a joint. Yeah, by moving your joint, whether active or passive, yeah. it doesn't matter. The interstitial pump is effectively the, the process of the muscles affecting the interstitial space so, the matrix. Yeah, so it's muscle, mm. it's breathing, uh, it's movement, yeah. um, arterial pulsation, so it's very sensitive to uh, def being deformed in any way. So even yeah. arterial pulsation will activate the, the pump system. Right.